Hello, how are you? Uh, good evening. Good evening. How is everything, guys? It's hot. Super <laughs> hot, right? Maybe it's going to rain, right? It well, might rain, maybe. Okay, yeah. It's super if, hot. If, if, if it if rain, how can I say? If it rains, if it is rain, ah, no, como se no es el conditional. If it rains, ah, uh -huh, si llueve, if it rains, will be more hot. Ah, uh, it will be hotter maybe, but in the meantime that it's raining, it is very cool. Para mientras llueve sí es un poquito fresco, but later I know it's almost the same thing. I understand that. Okay. So let me. How is the weather in Sushi Toto? It's Horrible. hot. Hmm. Hotter, hotter than any other part, guys. It's, it is one of the hottest places in the, I believe, in the, in this country. Oh wow! Yeah, I Terrible. believe it's like, yeah, like San Miguel, maybe. I don't know. Uh, oh my gosh. Diego, what happened with you? What happens, Diego? What happens to you yesterday? Well, what did you do Diego, yesterday? You, you abandoned no. us, right? You, ab you abandoned us. Yeah, sorry. I had something to do in, in my job. So I have an activity at night and I had to prepare some things uh, for give support to uh, developers. Okay. And well, at 9 p.m., I don't, I don't remember when. No, they call me and they say that we need to have a meeting before the, the activity is poured. And it was not a production. It was not a, I don't, I don't know how to say a pase production. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, we have an. Um, and an important activity, so that's the reason why. And I can't. Uh, I couldn't. Stay in two I days. had. I couldn't. Sorry. And I, I had. had something to do. I had something important yeah, to do. I had. All right. Excellent. Thank. Uh, well, well, you well, see, well. guys, simple past, <laughs> right? Lo que estuvimos hablando ayer es simple past. Okay. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is to start the. Um, the course, el curso que tenemos pendiente, guys. Creo que es este. So we finish everything, and then if there is something else to do, we can practice more the future, the simple past, and the present. But right now, we finish this part. The main ideas. Did we finish this for wor for better or worse? Intonation in statement, ese no lo vimos, verdad? We didn't watch this video. What do you remember about it? It's only 47 or 50 seconds. It's very short. Hasta para eso, guys, tenemos que eh, dar entonación, verdad? Por ejemplo, si tenemos at the beginning, Ahí, como, por ejemplo, in the past, okay, uno hace énfasis que estamos hablando del pasado, por eso hacemos más, eh, más entonación en esa parte. Let's watch this video. In the past, very few people use computers. Today, ¿verdad? Porque estamos hablando de un momento específico, pues entonces sí ponemos al inicio esa, ese énfasis, ¿ok? Watch the video, please. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? 
read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used to. This is what we were doing yesterday. Ago, Remember, I, guys? In five years, I. Great. Um, very good. Uh, what else? Entonces, el que ya hicimos fue. El knowledge check este ya lo hicimos, right? We did it. Yeah, we, before the automobile. So we are on the number 4.7. Read for me, guys. Read the instructions, okay? What is this objective about? Lesson objective. In this mm -hmm. class, you will listen to an audio and make, oh, sorry, and make the exercises. As you listen, you will develop skills in listening for main ideas. Excellent, thank you. We'll, we'll develop skills, good pronunciation, okay. Let's see, for better or for worse, have you watched the video, guys? It's a listening activity, so pay, pay attention, and then we answer the, the questions. happens sorry guys Same. um i closed by mistake let me open it again Check the topic each person talks about. One. Thank How long you. have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two, how do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three, I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. Can you play, teacher? Yeah, yeah. No, it's okay. We already listened to the, to the audio. All right. Thank you. So, guys, what is the answer for the following? Um, so, listen to the people discuss changes in their neighborhoods. Check, check the topic each person talks about. What is the woman talking about? The first woman? She was talking about the environment. Environment. But environment, everybody agrees? Yes, okay. yes, I do. Yes. What about uh, what what is the man talking about? Transportation. Transportation. Okay. And the woman in the um, families? The, the families. Families. Okay. Next. Mm. 
The objective. Ahora vamos a ver los conditionals, guys. Por ejemplo, lo que me estaba diciendo Brandy, eh, cómo decir, ah, si llueve, ¿verdad? Eh, si pasa esto, ¿qué es lo que va a pasar o cuál sería la consecuencia? Eso es un conditional. Normally, there are many. Hay zero conditionals, el cero, el primero, el segundo y el tercero. Pero ahorita solo vamos a ver the first conditional. ¿Ok? So, yes. you will learn how to use conditionals with the sentence or with the clause if. If significa si. Si se cumple esto, ¿qué va a pasar? And then... Mm, el conditional sentence ustedes ya lo tuvieron que haber visto, así que mejor se los explico. Let me explain to you. The intermediate. No, we, we didn't. Okay, so would you like to watch the video, guys? This one? No, I mean in the other classes we didn't see this topic. Yeah, yeah. It's actually we just talked about the simple past and yeah. the present and the future. Yeah, those three sentences um, expressing like, um, okay, in the past, nowadays, and then in the future, in five years, then you're, you were using this already. So, guys, would you like to watch the video? This one? Yes, yes, that's a good. Vaya, let's watch the video. Que no sé qué tan largo es, guys. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus... Vaya, se los pongo. I play the video, but you need to give me examples, ¿ok? Con esas condiciones eh, me dan más conditionals, ¿ok? Tengan ahí ideas de, de cómo formar una... Eh, conditional, ok en este caso por ejemplo eh, um, you know if there is a party I will go this weekend y si hay una fiesta yo voy a ir okay. there is, presente y futuro tenemos que asociar los dos present if you get a high paying job consequence plus future with will may or might you won't have to work as hard If you get a high-paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure, if clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present, main clause, Subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Okay, what are the three auxiliaries or models we can use to talk about future? Where? Some possible situations. Uh -huh. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Mm. Don't forget to write them on the discussion box. If you study English, May. if you lose your job, if you have children, what else? Will? don't forget to write your consequence May. using the future. Will, may, may or might? Going. Ah, también might, vea. 
y will en lugar de going to cualquiera de los dos, ¿ok? After what you have read, can you tell us which one is more difficult for you? Falling in love or staying in love? Share your opinion on our discussion box. Sorry, guys. Vaya. We finished the conditional explanation. So, I have more examples here that, uh, that you can give me, okay? Let me see, guys. Mm -hmm. Ahí está. Normalmente hablamos de un simple, simple present y, le, y lo demás es un simple future. ¿Puedo poner el if después o antes? Yes, of course. Uh, for example, guys, my mom will invite us, a nosotras como family, or will invite me if she has money. Puedo poner al inicio, if she has money, she will uh, invite uh, for dinner. She will invite for dinner. Mm, another, si yo le pongo el if al inicio, hay que poner una coma, right? If I eat so much, demasiado, like, like today, como hoy, vea. I will get fat. Me voy a poner super gorda bien rápido. I will get fat. ¿Ok? Puede ser al inicio, puede ser después. ¿Ok? okay. Now, are you ready to give me your examples? Yes, I'm ready. Yes. Ok. okay. Tell me, Morena. Ok, I have one example. Um, I will get up late. I will get up late if I go to bed at night. If I go to bed too late. late. Too, too, too late. late. Thank Demasiado you. tarde. Tonight? Or if you... Uh -huh. no. or, if esta you noche. Or, uh -huh. or if you go to bed late, you will get up late tomorrow. Exactly. Consequences. Very good. Um, uh -huh. Gladys, you want to say something? Yes, I have a one example. I have if a I one live, example. Okay, tell me. Yeah, yeah. If if I lift weight, I work out muscles. <laughs> if I leave, lift weight. What is weight? Weight, like a pesa. Okay. Vivo, ¿Cómo? ¿Qué quiere decirme? ¿Si vivo eh, con pesos? No, no. Oh, she If tried I to lift... say lift them. Ah, lift. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lift. Ah, yes. okay. Very good. Miren, lift. La exactly. F, guys. Lift. Le escucha lift, vean. Lift, if no, I leave weight. Uh -huh. I work out muscle. I work out muscle. Como echar el, músculo. ¿Qué me le faltaría ahí para que cumpliera con el first conditional, guys? I, I said I. 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 Vale, entonces uh -huh. pronunciamos esa W más clarita. I. Very good. I. Work. I. Work. Uh, muscles, ok uh, yes muscles. ok, uh -huh. si sí existe la posibilidad de decir, ah mire si, engor si como mucho engordo, si llueve y no ando sombrilla me mojo, si sí, eso también se puede pero ya ese es el zero conditional, ahorita estamos viendo el, el primer conditional talking about simple present and simple future hagamos ahora algo con tercera persona por ejemplo, has, eso es lo que quiero, que hablemos del presente con tercera persona, please. Vamos con Edith. Hello, teacher. Hello, I, good evening. I have an example. Excellent, tell me. 
but uh, in present or in, in first person. Um, okay. Bueno, eh, lo What? siento, no puedo traducir esto, pero voy a ver si lo digo en tercera persona para hacerle caso a usted ahorita. She's going to travel next year if she saves some money. Excellent. All right. She's going to travel next year if she saves some money. She will travel next year if she saves very good the, th the th third person if she saves some money okay nice any other let's see brandy do you have an example uh my husband will pay my air fly if i lose uh, first class if i lose uh, 30 pounds If I lose 30 pounds. If I lose, ahí sería, if I lose, presente. If I lose. Okay. Huh? Pero la primera tiene que ir en presente y la segunda en futuro. O al revés, el futuro primero y después con el if siempre va en presente. Ah, que okay, so it's run. Uh, if I will lose, no, solo I if have, I lose. I, Cuando digo if, uso el presente. Después del if, el presente. ¿Y qué pasaría okay. después de if esta I, condición? If, Ahí uso if el will. I, if I lose 30 pounds, my husband will pay me the first class Air, airplane, can I say? Or the, well, my Air flight. flight. Air flight. Mm -hmm. Very good. If I lose 30 pounds, uh, he will pay for the first class ticket or air, air flight, whatever. Okay, or he will pay the first class ticket if I lose. Si, siempre que va con el if, tiene que ir en presente. Okay, okay. another, Ulisa. Okay. If she doesn't eat fast food, she will be healthy. Yeah, okay, very good. Miren, if she doesn't eat, if she doesn't eat, esta me gustó porque está en negativo también. If she doesn't eat healthy. No, no. If she doesn't eat fast food, ah, she fast will food. be healthy. So, she'll be Healthy, of course. Food, food, All right. no, food, fast food. I eat fast food. She will be healthy. Healthy. Okay. Any other? I'm going to say Me example. Teacher. Okay, Go ahead. thank you, Ivania. Y después, ¿quién me dijo que iba a decir otro ejemplo? Gladys. Yeah, me. <laughs> okay. Vamos, Ivania, okay. tell me. Okay. If my son does not study enough, he will not pass the grade. All right. He will not pass grade. Okay. If he doesn't study, doesn't study, doesn't study. All right. He That's will not pass, sense. right? He will not pass. Or he will fail, ¿verdad? Va a aplazar. Okay. He will fail. Fail, okay. Fail, de fracasar. De fail. Okay. Nice. Another, guys? My. Okay, Gladys. Brandy tiene otra, creo yo, también. Ajá. I will travel to Ireland if my son Ireland Ireland if my son moves to a bigger apartment. If your son moves to a bigger apartment. Uh, looks for or moves si se mueve. Move, move. Okay, yes. if he moves, if he moves to another apartment. Good job. Yes. Very good. Ahí está, guys. Presente futuro, presente futuro. Okay? 
For example, if I get promoted, I will uh, I will change my car. Si usted tuviera mejor salario, no cambiaría el carro si tuviera otra cosa menos importante que hacer. Or maybe if you have a house, maybe you want a bigger house. Okay? If you're planning to get, for example, if I get married, yeah, I will have to buy a car or my own house if I get married. Así, así dicen algunos, ¿verdad? Que si, si se casa, tiene que conseguir su casa quiere, dice. Que, que se casa quiere es porque casa quiere. Ok. Um, so, uh, guys, if my mother cooks tonight, I will, I will have a very delicious dinner. Ok. Um, if we don't work, we won't have money on this vacation. Exactly. <laughs> and if we don't save enough money, we will have to um, um, request we will have for to, money. We, we, we will, will have, have to stay at home. <laughs> we will have to lend money. Vamos a tener que pedir prestado también. Okay, guys, don't, don't forget that we need to save money. Hay que guardar un poquito, ¿verdad? Porque de los, cinco, los cinco días o más de los de, de, de vacación, guys, lo va a sentir como que, oh my God, yeah. todo se lo, se lo, so everything, you spent everything in the, on vacations. Okay, so, any other? Hola, otro más, guys? Me, teacher. Ajá, María. If I practice more, I will improve my English. Oh, that's wow, great. that's perfect. <laughs> if I, that's yeah, right. if you practice, you will improve your English, guys. If you practice every, in the class, you will be more motivated. The teacher will be happier. Okay. How do you say the la practica hace el maestro? Practice makes perfect. Okay. Practice makes perfect. Yes, exactly. Perfect. Por eso, miren, Brenny ya sabe cuál es el truco, ¿verdad? Hay que practicar, guys. Porque cree que ella habla así que súper, súper fluido. Aunque sí, a veces me, me habla así con, un, con, el, con, el, con los verbos como que no deberían ir, ¿verdad? Pero se lanza, chicos, ahí a hablar, ¿verdad? Y eso es lo importante, que uno se equivoca, pero todos sabemos que así aprendemos. ¿Ok? Ok, vaya. Entonces, ¿qué más nos faltaba, guys? If the if closes, entonces vamos con um, knowledge check. Instructions. Just one. Read the clauses, watch it with the appropriate, appropriate. Okay. Consequence. Appropriate consequence. consequence. Okay, read the clauses and match it with the appropriate consequence. consequence. Match it. Okay. So, who helps me with the number one? Me. Yes. If you eat less junk food, you may lose weight. Okay. What about number two, guys? If you if walk you to walk work away. every day, you you'll stay in shape without joining a gym without joining a gym hmm? without joining a gym okay without thank you joining. thank you what about number three if you don't get enough enough to sleep uh, enough sleep if you enough don't get sleep. enough get enough sleep get enough get sleep, enough sleep. You won't be able to stay awake in class. Ah, very good. You won't be able to stay awake. Stay awake. Stay awake in the class. Very good. Number four. If you exercise, you oh. might feel healthier. Okay. You might healthier. feel healthier. Healthier, yeah. Healthy. Healthier. Healthy es la primera... Ah, no, no estaba aquí. Healthy. Eh, esa es la forma de decir más saludable todavía, ¿verdad? Es una comparación. 
Then the number five. If you don't get married, you will have more money to spend on yourself. That is completely true, guys. Okay, so you shouldn't get married. Huh? Okay, vamos. Eh, easy, guys. Super easy, super easy, super easy. So what is the next part? Vamos a, le a leer, guys. Okay, ahora sí vamos a leer. What is the article about? Read for me instructions. In this class, you will read an article about feeling in love, falling in love. As you read, you develop a skill in reading for specific information. For specific information, okay. You will read an article about, an article about falling in love. Falling in love, as you read, you will develop skills in reading. Skills in reading, okay. Acordémonos. Liation, guys, es justamente hacer links entre estas palabras. ¿verdad? You will develop skills in reading for specific information. All right. Vamos entonces. Are you in love? That is the question. Are you in love, guys? Yep. No, I'm not. No. Yes. No, I am. No, I am not. Me neither. Okay. Brandy, yes, Brandy is in love, right? Yes, the Brandy happily, is got, happily late. married. Okay. I am married too, but my husband is not with me. Yeah, Aww. that's the reason that I'm really in love because he lives far to me. Ah, mejor entonces, when he's not, when he's not with you. Okay. I'm living like a single. enamorada de lejitos, okay? Okay, guys. So, uh, how, ¿cómo se dice si estoy enamorada? Yes, I am o no, I am not. Nunca dice I don't in love, ¿verdad? Eso no existe. Vaya, guys, ¿quiénes van a participar con la lectura? Raise your hand. Acuérdense que siempre hay un montón que quieren, que quieren leer doble, ¿verdad? Así que ahorita los anoto, guys. I only have one hand. <laughs> But I can show you both here. Okay, vaya, guys. Vamos a comenzar. Ok. Brandy, usted me acaba de leer las instrucciones. Así que hoy le vamos a, pe a pedir a, a Yulisa, a Gladys, Diego, Morena, Ana y Vania, Edith, María. Y Carla. Wow, well, everybody wants to participate today. Ahora okay. sí, everybody wants to participate, guys. Everybody wants to participate. Okay, so it is very short. Sí, es corto, pero vamos a hacer, ¿cuántas son? Three, six, como ocho personas me levantaron la mano, okay? Vaya. Um... Así que sí, alcanzan los ocho, eh, los ocho, los ocho parrafitos. Ok, so vamos entonces a, let's start guys. Are you in love? Ok, eh, eh, please start, please start, no, please start, ok. Please, please start, uh, Julissa, since this blue part. What? What is the difference between having a crush? on someone and falling in love. Oh, think... okay. What is the difference we have uh, between having a crush or someone on someone and falling in love? Okay, continue, please. You think you're falling in love. Falling? Really falling, sorry, falling in love. You're really attracted to a certain person. But this have happened, happened, happened before, and it was just a crush. Thank you. How okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Gladys, please. How can you tell if it is real this time? Here's what our reader said. Okay, here's, 
Here's what our Here's readers what say. Our readers said. said. Pasado, said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. said. If you are falling in love, you'll find yourself talking to or telephoning the person for no reason. Thank you. Let's continue, Diego. You might pretend there's a reason, but often there's not. Hmm? You'll find your, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, you'll, you'll find, find yourself, yourself bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, a friend begins, you interrupt with, my boyfriend made a great Mex Mexican dinner last week. Okay. El que está alucinando, ¿verdad? Está hablando a alguien y de repente, ah, pero estoy, y habla de su, y su, habla de su crush. Ahí se nota uh -huh. que está enamorada. Ok, so, okay. alguien comienza a hablar y de repente, güey, ah, que no sé qué, interrumpe, hablando de su novio. Ok, guys, let's continue, please, Morena. Yes, thank you. You may suddenly be interested, interest in the, you interested, to, interested in things you used to avoid. When a woman asks me to tell her all about football, I know she is falling in love, say a TV sport, an answer. All right. Uh, falling y falling. Son dos cosas falling, diferentes, ¿verdad? Falling, Entonces, falling que, ¿qué significa falling? I know she's falling in love. Falling in love. What is that? I know she's falling, she's falling, Hola. no falling. Estar enamorada. Like she's in that process? Ajá, eh, como que ya se ha enamorado, se ha enamorado. Eh, sería she's falling in love, eh, sería um, ella está enamorada, she's falling in love, y ella está, ella ahí se ha enamorado. El present perfect, y está enamorada, Sería un presente, ¿verdad? Okay, falling in love. And let's continue. Me. Okay. Uh, Ivania? Okay. Okay. So, you falling in love, but falling in love is one time. One, uh, one thing. One thing. Sorry. And staying in love is another how can you tell us time passes that you're still in love? That you're still in love. Uh -huh. you're Are still you in love. still in love? All right, let's continue, my friend, Edit. Edit, where are you? Okay, okay. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, you got lost? Yes, I got lost. Sorry. Maria? If you stay in love, who is the next? If you stay in love with your relationship, if you stay in love, if your relationship will change. Will okay? Change. You might not talk as much about the person you are in love with. You might not call him or her so, so often, but this person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life. Thank you. And finally, please, Carla. So fine that it can be yourself with this person. When you first fell in love, you were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself. But now you can be totally honest. You can trust him or her to trust accept him. You can trust him. You just as you are. So, uh, you can trust him or her to accept him. you just as you are. One more time. One more time. Falling in love is great. Staying in love is even better. Okay. 
Good. You can trust him or her to accept uh, you just, just, no, okay? Falling in love is great. So the questions about this reading are, no hay nada, guys? Yeah, the question is, is better be falling in love or have a crush? Ah, okay. So what do you think, guys? What is better? <laughs> to fall in love or just to have a crush? Nothing, th no, nothing serious. Falling in love because if it is a if it is, you fall in love is man this mean you know the the person and you maybe you're a, a couple. If you have a crush, it's like a, uh, I have a crush on Diego, but he don't know, and he never will know. I'm talking all the time about a person like uh, they say I in, they interrupt, and he was to see she or he was talking about someone. And it's just a crush is something that will appear or disappear one day. <laughs> okay, what do you, what do the rest think about it, guys? I think that is a good point. Uh, because maybe, yeah, maybe the crunch is when someone not no have a serious relationship someone doesn't have a serious relationship um, yeah someone doesn't have a serious relationship um maybe only uh, uh close friends That's but it. at least well you can have a crush and sometimes it may happen something serious right if you talk to this person maybe you can you're not only be a crush but you can also have I mean, you can fall in love with this person later, maybe. Edith, you want to say something? No. No. Okay. So I thought you, you were going to say something like it is better to have uh, either a, a crush or uh, somebody to count with. Uh-huh. Anybody? Imagine before the people when they uh watch this man chayan everybody 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 have this crush chayan you you're never going to talk with them with this kind of artist you are <laughs> never going to talk okay gladys what did you say i know i know but así se comienza ¿verdad? por un crush eh, es como cuando uno se enamora así rapidito, ¿verdad? De una... I agree, I agree Ajá. with you. Eh, so, no solamente el crush es como el, sí, como el, el, ¿cómo se dice? El amor platónico, ¿verdad? Pero a veces it can be, it can be someone you know. A veces sí puede ser alguien que yeah, And that, that's the good thing, ¿verdad? Porque si le gusta, pues ahí se rebusca, ¿verdad? Right? Okay, Gladys, I'm sorry, you want to say something. Yes, I, I, in my opinion, it's better to have a good relationship with a compromise, with an engage, because the, the love is constructed by both the woman and the man. And a crush uh, probably um, gives some heart to you. And it's not good for me, it's my opinion. Yeah, the ring first. <laughs> <laughs> the ring first. Now, with the someone who knows what that he really wants, because uh, nowadays, men today, uh, they don't want a uh, compromise. Exactly. A real so, uh, that is why I believe many, many, I'm not sure, couples maybe are being very, very, um, like open minded okay. and they okay. they don't they don't want to have a, a relationship all right and so i believe it's very common right now you can have well i know some boys who have more than one girlfriend for example so they are just hanging around right they are just playing around and they don't look for something serious but it depends what you want okay. basically eh, para los, los que ya somos bien adultitos Obviously, right? As you say, you want something more serious, maybe. 
But for young or the new teenagers, the new generations, esta generación está, sí cambia bastante, guys. That, that's what I believe. Okay? Nadie, mm -hmm. nadie, nadie defendió la otra posición. Solo como Brandy y Gladys. You prefer someone who, for, that you can count all that's the right. time. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, los demás así como que, I'm not sure. I don't know what you're talking about, teacher. Okay, whatever, guys. I hope that you know what we're talking about. And it's good that you want to, to um, give what an you opinion. Mm -hmm. And what do what? you prefer? What do you prefer? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, having a, a hard relationship long time ago, I... I prefer um, not to have somebody like being so serious, uh, maybe just to have a relationship, but not to live with this person because I believe that when you live with this person, you need to know them a lot. And if you want to start something serious, you need to know a little bit, a little by little. So you don't have to throw and then get married as soon as possible because some things are don't work all the time as you expect okay That's so nice. little by little all right but you need to know the person i agree with you guys pero pues por el, por el momento i believe that yeah if you don't want something serious well you can go out with your friends without having any attach with any other person who is going to be like jealous all the time right so i prefer to have um, friends but Maybe if I know a person, then little by little, we can try something serious, but you need to know this person, okay? Um, excellent, guys. Thank you for asking my, uh, for my opinion. Okay, anybody else who wants to give an opinion, guys? Hablo ahora o calle para siempre, guys. Pero está interesante la clase, vea, y solo escuchando, sí. <laughs> I agree with the teacher. I agree with the teacher, Bea, pero no, no le quieren decir nada. Ok, guys. Entonces, ¿qué nos queda? Uh, what is pending to do? Ya dimos el reading. Ya terminamos la sección 4. There is no much to do. Anything left. Vamos a ver qué nos quedó en la diapo. Ah, varios me debían las, eh, las conditionals, ¿verdad? Mm, ¿Cuál era la estructura de conditional, guys? If. What was the structure for conditional sentences? Ya if sea. Plus. Una yep. if más, más el presente, ¿verdad? Si ponemos if, va un presente ahí. Ajá. Si, de, si esta condición pasa, if, ajá, if plus subject plus verb, no. Ajá, sería oh. entonces if, and then sub, if, sub, subject. subject, subject plus verb, in the okay. simple present, ¿verdad? Si es well, negativo, yeah. verb pues ocupamos, doesn't eat, if she eats. Tercera persona. Y el futuro puede ser will, puede ser uh, shall, puede ser uh, may, going, or may or might. might, go or going to también. Or going to, okay. okay. Vamos a ver qué teníamos aquí. Uh, will or want, may or might. Um, what else? ¿Qué más? En esto nos quedamos pendientes que ayer no todos participaron, guys. Así que... Yeah, eh, can, ya, you go ya. Back, I, can I take a picture? Uh, from where? One page back. Uh, about, are you talking okay. about this one? Uh, the, about the condition. Uh, yeah, the, thank you. This one or this one? No, <laughs> this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I will Thank send you. it to you in the in the chat so you can copy it. No, I took a picture, it's okay. 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 
<clears throat> expression to talk about simple past? Aquí se los había puesto. Algunas expresiones. Ajá. When you talk about simple past, what are the, the expressions that we normally use? Uh, some, a few years ago. Okay. Used to. Uh, I used to. A year to. A year uh, ago. A year ago. Um, after. Could be after. Before, no. Before. After it <laughs> should be for for um for, for future. For example, you know, before we used to pay like 50 cent per uh being beans pound. Now we are paying like one dollar and something. So later or after we will be paying more right mm -hmm. we might be paying two dollars maybe because the prices are really really increasing guys the price are increasing okay and um, más para pasado guys yesterday the day before yesterday a year ago a few years ago Exactly. Anything that has to do with ago, we always mention um, some expressions and then ago, we always talk about the simple past. For simple present, what can be uh, some means? What could it be? Uh huh. For simple future, simple present, so we can say nowadays. No, 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 what days? It's nowadays. ¿Qué más? Today. 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 In this moment. In this moment. Right now. What else? Nowadays. Uh -huh. Currently. This time. Up to now. Hasta el momento. Up to now. Okay, now for future, I puedo decir the day before, uh, tomorrow, right? The day after tomorrow, se ha pasado mañana. The day after tomorrow, later tonight, next week, next semester, next month. Next okay. year. We can say in the future, we can say in 20 years, in 20 minutes, porque todo eh, después de in, Mencionó un, un número, estoy hablando también en futuro, ¿verdad? Oh, well, we can use on too, on March. On no, no, no. Time. In, para hablar como en este periodo de tiempo, vamos a, por ejemplo, the class will finish, yes, uh, will finish, perdón, the class will finish in 10 minutes, or in 3, 7 minutes. Will finish in. Esa expresión in como que es como dentro de... Tanto tiempo, right? In. Okay. Sí puedo decir in, mm, pero menciono el pasado. Puedo hablar del pasado. Oh, my birthday was in, oh, my daughter's birthday was in April last year. Todavía estamos en marzo. Okay. And my, and my birthday will be in July. Sí, puedo, cual, siempre que hablo de meses, digo in. Si hablo del mes, con su fecha, por ejemplo, yo ya digo mi fecha de cumpleaños, digo on. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, uh, I bought, yo lo compré, I bought my car five years ago. Yo lo compré hace cinco años. Um, so I bought it in 2018. Digo, in. Si hablo del año, también lo puedo decir in. Y ya hablo de un mes. O un año, digo in. Puedo decirlo, oh, my, I'm going to buy a new car y voy a comprar otro nuevo carro in two years, en dos años. Si hablo de mi cumpleaños, entonces yo digo, oh, my birthday is on July 11. 
ya cuando menciono los dos, el número y el, y el mes. Ok. So, uh, expresiones con in puede ser in 10 minutes, in a month, in a, in an hour. ¿Qué más? In some years, in two years. Soon, no me lo, ahí lo están viendo y no me los leen. Ok. Ok. Um, mm, in some years, years, in three years, in a few in years, future, in, in the a, future, in a few minutes, okay, tomorrow, tomorrow, okay, también tomorrow, next week, next month, etc. Now, ¿qué más nos quedó? El futuro, ¿verdad? Acuérdense, siempre no es solo decir I'm going to, sino que I am going to. Eh, are you guys, are the students going to go to the beach? Maybe. I'm not going to go to the beach. You're not going, no, I'm sorry. Uh, when are you going to go then? Oh. I will work. <laughs> I'm going to work. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sorry to hear that. But on vacations, any day, ni un día siquiera. Not even one day? No, I never travel. You never, you never close your, your business? Uh, yeah, it's just uh, on those days, you can see many drunk people on the street, many acting, and um, I don't know, I feel like it's scary. So. Okay, so you don't like when the, the places are so crowded, right? So you, yeah. you prefer to visit in a like, um, in a less crowded time, okay? Yeah, I don't like to drive in the rush hour, for example. Yeah, and it's more dangerous, as you say, because since there are many people who don't work, So most likely, if they don't work, they will get really drunk, right? <laughs> yeah, and they the problem is not they are drunk. The problem is they are driving. Uh-huh, that is correct. Okay, so remember, guys, people should not drive and, and drink alcohol. And drink okay? alcohol. Mm -hmm. And if you drink alcohol, And you in the police catches you, what will what will happen? If you're drunk and driving, the police will catch you. Will capture if, you. Very good. They it will capture but, you. Mm -hmm. But if you suborn it, you buy it. <laughs> you mm -hmm. if you find if you find a uh, um a corrupt agent, you will probably pay some money and you will not go to jail because if you drink and and, and uh, drive, okay, and if you're really drunk, you will get punished. You will go to jail, probably. Okay, guys. Um, usando el if, otra vez ahí vaya. Okay. Um... Con there is, there are, there were, there, there was. ¿Cuándo ocupamos cada uno de ellos, guys? When? That is a good question. Yeah, simple. That's a good <laughs> question, right? When? ¿Cuándo que ocupo el there is y el there are, guys? In singular, teacher. Ah, there is para uno. Uh -huh. En plural. Y there are, plural. el plural. Ahora, there was. Sería el plural, pero del past. 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 Y el que hubieron hubo, o hubo en plural sería there were. There were. were. Y si yo quiero decirlo en futuro, habrá, habrá muchos alumnos el próximo curso. There will be. There, there will. will be. Después de will, o sea, los models yeah. o los auxiliares no ocupamos... El, no ocupamos el verbo eh, conjugado, sino que siempre, siempre sin conjugar. There will be, ¿ok? There might be. 
there could be, there should be, etc., etc., etc. Ok. Eh, entonces ahí no puedo decir, ah, porque singular es is o are. No, ahí todos va will be. There will be, ya sea eh, one student and there will be two students. No importa. Lo mismo, la misma expresión sería. Vaya, pues chicos, hoy sí los dejo. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Gladys, you have a question? Yes, when will be the next class? Next Monday. Ah, perdón, no, 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 nos vamos hasta el 3. Vamos a regresar el lunes, el lunes 10, del 10 al 13, ¿ok? See What? you guys, no, toda no. la semana próxima no, hasta el, el, de, hasta el domingo, lunes 10, ¿ok? Nos vemos okay. ya, Thank que me you. tengo que ir a la otra clase, guys. No, teacher. God bless bye. you guys. Tengan cuidado, por favor. Bye, bye. Happy bye. vacation.